Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve Cambridge exam, May, June 2023, paper 22. Let's get started. Question 1. Four physical changes of ethanol are listed. Condensation, evaporation, freezing, and boiling. In which changes do the particles move further apart? Here we have two changes. Two, number two and number four, where the liquid changed into gas. Of course, gas particle has more distance between the particles than liquid and boiling in which also liquid change into gas so increase the distance between the gas particles that means the particles move further apart so we will choose two and four and the answer would be c question two an atom of element x contain five proton six neutrons and five electrons which statement about element x are correct X has an atomic number of 6. Atomic number means number of protons. Here we have 5 protons, so this statement is wrong. X has nuclear number of 11. Nuclear numbers means proton and neutrons. 5 plus 6, 11, so this is correct. X in group 2 in the periodic table. Here we have uh, 5 electrons. Means we have the electronic configuration 2 and 3. The outer shell electron contains three, three electrons, so this element in group 3, statement 3, is wrong. X, in the second period in the periodic table, it has two shells, so it is in period 2. The only correct statement is 2 and 4, and the answer will be D. Question 3. Ammonia is a covalent molecule. Which diagram shows the outer electron arrangement in a molecule of ammonia? Nitrogen has five electron in, in its outer shell because nitrogen is in group five. It needs to share only three electrons to complete the outer shell to eight. So we will choose the diagram in which nitrogen share three of its electron to form three covalent bond with hydrogen and still have one pair of electron as the non-bonding electron of nitrogen. So nitrogen has two, four, six electron in its outer shell, and each hydrogen has two electron. So the answer will be C. Question four, which structure does silicon uh, four oxide most closely resemble? Silicon uh, dioxide or silicon four oxide resemble diamond, both has a giant covalent structure. Question 5. Substance P conduct electricity when solid. The only substance that can conduct electricity when solid is, is metal. Which particle move in the solid P so that it conduct electricity? Metal consists of layers of positive ions regularly arranged and surrounded by a sea of delocalized electrons. These electrons responsible for carrying the current so the particle can move to conduct electricity is uh, these particle are electrons so the only correct answer will be d question six which equation represent a chemical change here the first one changing from solid to liquid this is a physical change b the action between calcium ions and sulfate ions to form precipitate calcium sulfate this is a chemical change because a new compound is formed which is different than the original reactant c is wrong because potassium chloride just dissolve in water to form ions which are free to move in aqueous solution so dissolving is a physical process and also the ionization in uh, statement or equation d is wrong because this is also a physical process just the ions move in solution so the only correct answer here is b question seven which sample contain the largest number of molecule to know that we have to know first that one mole of each substance contain avogadro's number so we will calculate this mass in gram represent how much of a mole Methane, the MR of methane is 16, so 16 gram of methane represent one mole. One mole of oxygen is the MR of oxygen, the molecular mass of oxygen. It's 32 grams, so 16 grams will be half moles. 
one mole of phosphorus will be uh, 31 times 4, it will be 124. So this 16 gram represent a very small amount of the mole and also 16 decimeter cube of methane will be calculated as the number of moles equal to the volume divide 24 because methane is a gas so we will have 0.67 moles okay one mole of any substance contain Avogadro's number so half mole contain half of the Avogadro's number and so on the highest number of molecule will be for the one mole which is 16 gram of methane so the answer will be a question 8 the concentration of the sample of dilute aqueous sodium chloride is founded by titration as shown here the hydrochloric acid in the puret and the sodium hydroxide in the flask which information is needed to calculate the concentration of the dilute aqueous sodium hydroxide so we need to calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide as the titration is a quantitative process number of moles of hydrochloric acid equal to the number of moles of sodium hydroxide so the number of moles of hydrochloric acid equal to the concentration of hydrochloric acid times the volume which is equal to the number of moles of sodium hydroxide as is the uh, ratio is one to one so the concentration of sodium hydroxide times volume also this is the number of mole of sodium hydroxide and this is the number of moles of hydrochloric acid they are equal because the ratio is one to one so to calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide we need the volume the concentration of hcl and the volume of sodium hydroxide here we have concentration volume for hcl and the volume of sodium hydroxide so the answer is b question nine experiment one aqueous copper sulfate is electrolyzed using graphite electrode and in experiment two aqueous copper sulfate is electrolyzed using copper electrodes which statement identify the half ionic equation for the reaction at one of the electrodes for the uh, electrolysis of aqueous copper to sulfate using graphite electrodes we will have copper metal at the cathode and oxygen at the anode when using copper electrodes the copper metal at the anode ionizes losing two electrons ionized to form copper ions this will, ha will happen at the anode that's why the anode decrease in mass so here in experiment one the half ionic equation at the anode is the formation of oxygen gas from four uh, hydroxide ions this is of course a correct statement experiment one the half ionic equation for the reaction formation of hydrogen of course not because there is no hydrogen formed in experiment one we have copper ions because uh, copper ions attracted to the cathode gain two electrons to form copper metals copper metal at the cathode so here the uh, in experiment one there is no hydrogen this statement is wrong experiment two the half ionic equation at the anode is the copper ions gain electron which is wrong copper metal lose electron to form copper ions this is what happened at the anode and experiment two the half ionic equation at the cathode formation of oxygen and this is of course also wrong because these copper ions go to the cathode except two electrons to convert into copper metal so this is uh, wrong also the only correct statement is a question 10 which substance is not produced during electrolysis of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride during electrolysis of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride we have four ions sodium will not discharge because sodium is highly reactive metal so at the cathode we will have hydrogen gas will discharge and at the anode because we have concentrated aqueous sodium chloride that means the chloride ions present in enough concentration to be discharged as a chlorine gas so at the anode we will have chlorine gas and at the cathode we will have hydrogen gas which substance is not produced it is 
sodium. Sodium will not discharge because sodium is highly reactive metal. It is very difficult to accept uh, electron and convert into metal. We will have hydrogen gas at the cathode, chlorine gas at the anode, and the electrolyte will change into sodium hydroxide. The only substance will not produce is sodium, so the answer will be C. Question 11. Methane burns in excess oxygen, and the equation is as shown. We have the bond energies. What is the energy change for the reaction? Here we have in the reactant methane, so we will have four CH bonds. We will multiply 410 by 4. And for oxygen, we have two oxygen oxygen double bonds, so we will get 496 times 2. The energy absorbed to break the bonds will be 2632. 4 times 410 plus 2 times 496. <clears throat> and the energy needed, the energy released when forming the new bonds, we have here in carbon dioxide C double bond O, 2 C double bond O, so we have 2 times 805. And for water, we have 2 OH bonds times 2, there will be 4 OH bonds, so we will multiply 4, 60 by 4, and the answer will be a. Question 12. Which change increase the rate of reaction by decreasing the activation energy? Adding catalyst will increase the rate of reaction by decrease the activation energy. It provides an alternative route for the reactant with a lower activation energy. Question 13. In the contact process, sulfur dioxide is a reactant with oxygen to form sulfur trioxide. What are the conditions needed? We know that the condition needed 400 degree, 450 degree Celsius, 200 kilopascal, and the catalyst is vanadium pentaoxide, so the answer is C. Question 14. Which reaction is reversible? Iron na nail rust when left in moist air. This is, of course, is not reversible reaction. Limestone reacting with an acid to form carbon dioxide gas, also it is not reversible. Magnesium burning air to form white ash, burning is not reversible. White anhydrous copper sulfate turning when water is added to the blue hydrated copper sulfate. This reaction can be reversed by heating, evaporating the water, so it will return to again into anhydrous copper sulfate, which is white, so the answer is D. Question 15. The equation for the reaction of sulfur dioxide with acidified potassium manganate is shown. As we can see, sulfur dioxide reacts with the acidified potassium uh, manganate to form uh, sulfate, chromium ions, and water. What is the oxidation? What is oxidized? Sorry, what is oxidized and what is the oxidizing agent? We can see from the equation that SO2 is changed into sulfate ion SO4 2 minus so we will calculate the oxidation state of sulfur here we have two oxygen so the oxidation state of oxygen will be minus 4 so the sulfur will oxidation number of sulfur will be plus 4 in the sulfate ions the total charge of oxygen is minus 8 and we have minus 2 charge on the ion so the oxidation number of sulfur will be plus 6 now the sulfur changes from plus 4 to plus 6 increasing in the oxidation number means oxidation that means sulfur dioxide is oxidized and of course the uh, potassium manganate or the manganate ion is the oxidizing agent so the answer is a question 16 what is the definition of strong acid strong acid is a proton donor that completely dissociated in aqueous solution so the answer is c question 17 which statement about the amphoteric oxide is correct amphoteric oxides are oxide that can react with both acids and bases so the answer is c 
A is wrong. They are made by combining acidic oxide and basic oxide. This is, of course, wrong. They react with water to give solution BH7. This is also wrong. And D is wrong. They don't react with acid and bases. Of course, this is also wrong. The amphoteric oxides are oxides that can react or neutralize both acids and bases. Question 18. Copper carbonate is formed when aqueous sodium carbonate is added to aqueous copper nitrate. So here we have sodium carbonate plus copper nitrate to form copper carbonate, which is of course insoluble, so it will be solid precipitate. This is the ionic equation for the reaction. How is the pure copper carbonate obtained from this reaction? To obtain pure sample of copper carbonate or the pure crystals of copper carbonate, we will first filter to remove the solid from the solution, then wash it with distilled, uh, wash it with distilled water and then dry it between two filter paper. So the answer will be D. Question 19. Q and R are elements in the same period of the periodic table. Q has seven electrons in the outer shell. That means Q is in group seven, so it is non-metal. R has two electrons in the outer shell. That means R is in group two, so R is a metal. Which statement about Q and R is correct? Q is a metal and R is a non-metal. This is, of course, no, uh, wrong, as we said Q is a non-metal and R is a metal. B. Q and R have different number of electron shells. They are in the same period, so they have the same number of shells. So this is wrong. R is found on the right of Q in the periodic table. R is a metal, so me metal are located on the left side of the periodic table. So this is, of course, also wrong. Uh, statement D, the proton number of R is less than the proton number of Q, of course, because R on the left side in the same period, so it has less number of protons. The correct answer is D. Question 20, lead sulfate is an insoluble salt. Which reaction produces a mixture to form lead sulfate, which can be obtained by filtration? Adding aqueous lead nitrate to dilute sulfuric acid will produce the uh, insoluble lead sulfate. So the answer will be D. Question 21. Which statement about alkali metals is correct? Lithium is more dense than sodium. Sodium is more reactive than potassium. Of course, here we have to memorize first the trend of group 1. As we go down the group, the reactivity increases, the density increases, but the melting point decreases. So lithium is more dense than sodium, lithium above sodium, so sodium is more dense. Statement 1 is wrong. B said uh, sodium is more reactive than potassium. Uh, sodium is above, potassium is in group 1, so of course potassium is more reactive. This is also wrong. Statement C, sodium has higher melting point than potassium. As we just said, that the melting point decreases as we go down, so sodium has higher melting point than potassium. This is the correct answer. Uh, D, they are in group 2 in the periodic table. This is, of course, wrong. Alkali metals are in group 1, so the only correct statement is C. Question 22. Which row describes the properties of transition elements? Transition elements have high melting point high density and they form color compound so the answer is b question 23 which row identify the properties of zinc zinc is uh, a thermal conductivity it is a good thermal conductor and for the reaction with dilute acid of course zinc will react with dilute acid so the answer is a question 24 Uses of metal depend on their properties. Which property is necessary for the use given? Car bodies need the property of ductile, of course not. They need to be hard. Uh, B. Cutlery need to conduct heat. This is, of course, wrong. Need to be shiny, need to, to uh, resist corrosion. C. For food container, need to resist corrosion. This is correct. Food container has to resist corrosion. Uh, overhead power electrical cable need to be high density. This is, of course, wrong. They 
need to be uh, to have low density so the only correct answer is c question 25 which compound both contribute to acid rain we have the oxides of nitrogen nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide which dissolve in the acid rain to give acid so the only correct statement is c question 26 b q r, r and s are all metals b react with hydrochloric acid to form hydrogen so p is a metal which is more reactive than hydrogen or above hydrogen in the reactivity series q react violently with water so q is an element from group one r react with water to give hydrogen but it is less reactive than q s is formed by heating its oxide with carbon so s is a metal which below carbon in the reactivity series so to know the uh, metals b q r and s we will go search for each one b react with hydrochloric acid form hydrogen we have b is iron it can react with hydrochloric acid to form hydrogen gas of course the b is wrong because magnesium will not react violently with cold water so here we have the wrong answer is magnesium in b c is also wrong because S is formed by heating its oxide with carbon. Magnesium cannot be prepared by heating its oxide with carbon. So B is wrong, C is wrong, A is wrong because copper cannot react with dilute hydrochloric acid forming hydrogen. So the only correct statement will be D. Iron can react with hydrochloric acid. Potassium reacts violently with cold water. Sodium reacts with water to give hydrogen. And S formed by heating its oxide with carbon, zinc can be extracted by heating its oxide with carbon. D is the correct answer. Question 27. Which compound is formed when iron rust? The, the rust is hydrated iron oxide. So here the answer is D. Question 28. Why is creolite used in the extraction of aluminium by electrolysis it dissolves aluminium oxide this is correct protect the anode from corrosion this is wrong answer change the bauxite to aluminium oxide this is of course wrong bauxite is the ore of aluminium which is aluminium oxide decrease the melting point of aluminium this is wrong creolite decrease the melting point of aluminium oxide so the only correct statement is a question 29 a wax candle is made from a mixture of hydrocarbons. The candle is lit and placed in a jar along with a strap of cobalt chloride test paper as shown. We know that cobalt chloride paper can change its color when adding water to the paper. So the wax candle burns in the presence of air. Here we have combustion product and the combustion product are carbon dioxide and water. So this water vapor will touch the cobalt chloride vapor and the color of the cobalt chloride will change from blue to pink by adding water. So after a short time, the oxygen in the jar is used up and the candle flame goes out. Which substance does the cobalt chloride vapor identify? Cobalt chloride vapor is used to identify the presence of water when the color of the vapor change from blue to pink. So the answer is D. Question 3. The hydrocarbon C4H8 has two structural isomers, but1-ene and but2-ene. Which statement is correct? But2-ene has a structure of formula, this is the correct structure, and the same general formula as butane. This is wrong because butane is an alkane and the general formula for alkane CnH2n plus 2, while but1-ene is an alkene or here we have but 2 in alkene so the general formula is CnH2n so this is wrong because we have different general formula statement B but 2 in has a structure formula as shown and the same empirical formula as ethene ethene is C2H4 so simplifying this formula we will have empirical formula CH2 by dividing by 2 ethene 
will have an empirical formula of CH2. And for but 2 in C4, H8, simplified by dividing by 4, so it will be CH2. So but 2 in has the same empirical formula as ethene, and statement E, but B is correct. C, but 1 in has the structure formula as shown, and the same general formula as butane. Again, this is wrong because they have the same general formula uh, as we just explained in statement A. D, but 1 in has a structural formula as shown and the same empirical formula as A seen. If you just notice here that this structural formula is wrong, we have here this carbon have only three bonds and this carbon has five bonds. So this structural formula is incorrect and statement D is wrong. The only correct statement is B. So question 30, the answer is B. Question 31. Which compound rapidly decolorizes aqueous bromine? Aqueous bromine can be decolorized by reaction with alkene. So the only alkene here is propene. So the answer is D. Question 32. Which are the products of the addition reaction of ethene with bromine and with hydrogen? Here we have the structure of ethene. By adding bromine, bromine will be added on the double bond, so one bromine atom will be added on each carbon. This is the formula produced when adding bromine. Of course, by adding hydrogen, again, the hydrogen will be added on the same carbon and the ethene will convert into ethane. So this one will be C2H4Br2 and this one will be C2H6. So here, the correct answer is A, CH2Br and CH2Br. This is the uh, formula of 1,2-dibromoethane. And CH3CHE3, this is the formula of ethane. So the correct answer will be A. Question 33. Ethanol is manufactured by fermentation and by catalytic addition of steam to ethene. Which row describe an advantage of both methods? So we have to choose the, the row which gives both advantage. Ethanol need to be purified, this is a disadvantage, so A is wrong. B, uh, formation of ethanol by catalytic hydration, ethene comes from petroleum this is a disadvantage because ethene is a non-renewable resource this is not an advantage c the process is slow this is also a disadvantage so statement c is wrong here in d we have sugar is a renewable resource so this is an advantage the ethanol produced from hydration of ethene is pure so this is also advantage and the answer will be d Question 34. Methanoic acid and propane one all react to form ester. What is the structural formula of this ester? Here I draw the formula of methanoic acid and the propane one all. And to form an ester, we will remove one molecule of water and adding the two molecules together. So by removing one molecule of water, we will have First, the structure of ethanoic acid, HCOO, this is the ester linkage. Then we will add the propanol. Here we have CH2, CH2, CH3. This is the formula of propyl methanoate, and the correct answer is A. Question 35. What is the correct structure of BET? So as we know, BET is a polyester. So uh, A is wrong because this is an amide linkage. B is correct. We have a correct ester linkage between the two types of monomer. C is also wrong. This is not an ester linkage. And D is wrong because we have a correct, uh, sorry, incorrect ester linkage here. So the only correct statement is B. The body ester is B. Question 36. Alkanes undergo substitution reaction in the presence of UV light. Which equation represents a substitution reaction of ethane? 
as we can see this is the structure of ethane ethane by addition of chlorine in the presence of sorry i mean uh, substitution uh, chlorine will substitute one of the hydrogen atom in the ethane molecule so a product which is chloroethane will be formed and the other product will be hydrogen chloride so we will have c2 h5 cl and hcl the only correct statement for the substitution reaction of ethane is b statement b question 37 methane react with chlorine in the uh, in a substitution reaction how many different products containing single carbon atom can be made during the reaction if the reaction uh, of chlorine with methane continued in the amount of chlorine is enough in the presence of sunlight so more than one hydrogen can be substituted so we can have one chloromethane or dichloromethane or trichloromethane or the reaction may be completed to have tetrachloromethane when the four hydrogens are substituted so we will have four different product and the answer will be c four different product can be obtained question 38 rock salt is a mixture of salt and sand the method used to separate the sand from the salt is listed first crush the rock salt and add warm water stir step two bore the mixture through a filter paper held in a funnel statement or step three evaporate the water to a crystalline the salt which statement is correct the filtrate in step two is pure water this is of course not because it's not pure water it contains salt the residue in step two is pure crystal of salt this is of course wrong because the residue is sand c the solute is salt this is a correct statement the solvent is a mixture of salt and water no the solvent is only water so the only correct statement is c 39 two compound m and n are dissolved in water and separated by chromatography the result are shown here we have two compounds m and n what is the rf value of m and which compound is most soluble in water to calculate the rf value of m we will calculate the distance moved by the spot from the baseline to the middle of spot m and the distance moved by the solvent from the baseline till the solvent front so it will be 2 divide 10. Point 2 is the rf value of m and <clears throat> which substance is more soluble in water as substance m travel or moves a longer distance with the solvent so n is more soluble so the rf value of m is 0.2 but n is the more soluble compound so the answer is b last question question 40 when acid is added to salt x a gas is produced which should turn lime water milky that means this gas is carbon dioxide gas when sodium hydroxide is added to salt x a gas is produced which should turn litmus paper blue this means that this gas is ammonia gas so a salt x react with acid to produce carbon dioxide and salt x react with sodium hydroxide to produce ammonia gas that means salt x contain carbonate because carbonate react with acid to form carbon dioxide the anion here is carbonate ion and salt x also react with sodium hydroxide to produce ammonia that means the cation here is ammonium ions because ammonium ion react with sodium hydroxide to produce ammonia gas the uh, salt x is ammonium carbonate and the answer is b here we come to the end of our exam like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive all the updates comment down below if you have any question thank you for watching wish you all best of luck